Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. So yeah, as promised in my last uh, video, my blooms, buds and such, the update video, I talked about that I, uh, this money I will be, uh, it's my birthday. So um, I ordered uh, some birthday uh, orchids. So this is uh, part one of my uh, birthday orchids unboxing. So yeah, I explained in that video why there is another box coming. So if you want to uh, want to know more about it, just check that video. I will have linked it by now. But yes, this is the first one. So uh, let's open uh, this up. They have been here for a few hours because I didn't have the time earlier in a day. So I just want to make this open and uh, give them uh, their space and their fresh air. So here we go. This is the first time I ordered uh, from this uh, Orchid Nursery. So I'm uh, very uh, curious to see. I did hear uh, a lot of good things about them from them. So this is my billing information. This is the uh, Orchid Nursery I'm talking about. They have an invoice there. So you can look at them up if you want to. So let's uh, open this box, you guys. And the package is, uh, is very wonderful done. I can see they have them very secured um, to the sides of the, the box. So they, they cannot move around. They're very, very sturdy in here. Beautiful green leaves is the first impression. So, uh, whoops, let's get them out. They even have a hook here in the box. You cannot see them. But they uh, to keep the plants in place, and it seems that it's really working. So let's see if we can get it out. Yes, uh, this is the first one. So you probably can see, on judging on the leaves, what type of orchids I uh, did are the whoops. We have some media falling out, but it happens, of course, and. This one is showing a new growth, and I think that one is a, could be a spike to the sides. Probably a new growth as well because it's it's opening up a little bit. So yeah, maybe one spike, but yeah, this is a uh, new cymbidium, and they had names, commercial names, but they couldn't didn't put that name on the on the pot so I'm not sure which one this is actually so I will uh, give you some names we have any, a bit of an idea and we have a beautiful new root there actually I hope you can see that just above my finger so that mean and another one here so that means that this one could be repotted into the new setup which will be self-watering of course <laughs> so let me put it here on the floor just for a second, so we can open up the, another one. We have two more to go. This is a fairly big one as well. So let's have a look. So nice, unpacking new orchids. So yeah, look at that. Another one, fairly, fairly big one may not be a big maybe an, it's a miniature i'm not sure i'm not that familiar with uh, with the cymbidiums but we have maybe a new growth there or a spike let me see yeah no i'm not sure what it will be but we have several new growths here we have one here one here one there and a new root as well so for this one this one can be reported oh i'm sorry they have put the name on the tag this is the joker so if you want to see the blooms you have to uh, i think they used no yeah, maybe that bloom it, this is a pink one it's very similar as on the tag but uh, they use it on all their tags but yeah i i lie this is the joker so um <laughs> funny name but this is the pink one. So if you want to see the blooms, go over to the website and you will find the joker. Let me check the other one quickly. Let 
let me grab it so we can check that tag as well. This is Anicia. Anicia. I think you pronounce it like that. I hope you can see it. Anicia. So, beautiful, uh, beautiful looking plants. Very healthy looking. So, the last one. Let me uh, try to untie this one. Whoops, there it goes. I'm sorry for the noise. <laughs> Almost like a gunshot. <laughs> There we go. Loose paper. And this is actually news I can read because uh, they do uh, live in the Netherlands as well <laughs> as I do. Normally, if I uh, do an unboxing, most of the times the newspapers is in the, the language of the country, Germany or something like that. I don't speak and I cannot read German, but I do uh, speak and uh, read uh, Dutch. This is, well, actually, this has, oh, look, yeah, they have the flowers on the tags. I'm sorry, I didn't uh, put it. much attention to the tags, more to the blue, uh, to the plants. But this is a street tango, called street tango. And yes, it's a beautiful dark brown, reddish uh, bloom. And again, I think it's a nice plant, very nice one. And you see, I think this is a new growth because it does start to split up there. And we have some older bulbs, but that's okay. And because of it has a new growth, it may have start a new, uh, new roots as well. So I'm probably going to repot this one fairly soon as well. Uh, so yeah, I will uh, put them uh, into their next uh, Next, into the new uh, place that I, we, uh, that I didn't make last time. It's also in my last video. But, and then we have a last look at the, the plants. But so far, I'm very, very happy. So yeah, this, this is going to be a very uh, big one, I believe. If you see the, the leaves, so the other ones, buddy. Yeah, we will have a look at them. And maybe I have a miniature version and the bigger ones. I'm not completely sure. We uh, will be right back uh, into, uh, in the greenhouse. So we are now in the greenhouse, as you can see, and uh, look at this. Oh, this makes me smile. This was what I uh, had in mind when I uh, did talk about it in my previous video. That green wall, we have the veils above them and those beautiful long leaves, green leaves underneath there. So yeah, it's a good excuse to finally grow some Sibidiums, isn't it? And yeah, I really didn't uh, take notice of the tags as it should uh, because I was so impressed by the plants but uh, this is a more darker pink one as you can see the Ancia so yeah but I was really distracted but yeah very fancy tags I think even though whoops those are commercial names I think they uh, you have quite an idea what you did buy the Joker I, I love this name the Joker <laughs> It's a beautiful one. And, whoops, that was my mic. The last one is over here. I hope you don't hear the van too much, just right next to me, but um, this is the Street Tango. Also a name that I really like and a beautiful, beautiful color, I think. So yeah, I'm not sure if these will uh, spike, but you may have seen it already. My own one, well, actually my own one, my first one, look at that. Is working on four spikes so I was hoping that the other ones would spike as well we would have a beautiful cascade of blooms and different colors but it looks to me that we may have uh, that few next year so let's go for it but I think because I can move my conifer plants through the greenhouse they don't mind that much where I put them so I could have even a, a few in front of the, and a few more cymbidiums if I want to. So we have even more of that green leaves because I really love it. <laughs> Who knows? This is first uh, beautiful. I now have five cymbidiums as you can see. This is a fairly new one as well. I bought this one this summer 
And I have a tag for it, but I has, have it in the house. But I, as soon as I have the tag, because this one is the only one that I have a uh, name of, a four. So yeah. So you guys, I'm happy. I'm really happy. Beautiful. Let me uh, come back a little bit. Yeah, don't mind the mess there. Is, I think if you have greenhouse, you have always a little bit of mess uh, sprayers, etc. We just need the stuff. So, and I ha didn't do not have a little closet or anything, so I put it there. But yeah, that's uh, that's maybe not as nice. But um, for the rest, I would say this is a beautiful site. I think all my fails there. So we had that hanging green uh, sea of flowers and now we have uh, some on the bottom as well so yeah and uh, oh yeah before i forget maybe if you are interested uh, i could do a uh, up putting video where i put these guys in uh, into semi hydroponic no, i'm sorry into self-watering just like this one in such a big bucket actually that is semi hydroponic um, well, anyhow, it doesn't matter that much, but um, I don't know how I will uh, put the rest up. But uh, let me know if you would like to uh, see that repotting video. If you don't want to see that, because I, uh, I can imagine you are uh, sometimes a little bit... Uh, uh, maybe it's a bit overwhelming, because I have some repottings done just recently. I have more coming up, so... But I at least could do one, I think. Otherwise, the videos will be way too long. But just let me know if you are interested in it. Or if you have any questions or suggestions, of course, as usual, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for now, and I hope to see you uh, soon on my next video. Bye-bye.